I'm going to show you how to beat Captain Tron. It's me, True Fight. Let's get into it right now. It's going to be three tips. First one is an electric weapon. You can take down those shields. The next tip is to buy the transfusion grenade. This is going to heal you up. The third tip is to buy a decent shotgun to do lots of damage. <laughs> Okay, we're ready then. We're going to take those shields down with our electric weapon. I have two. I have my transfusion grenades. I'm ready to go, but we don't know what we're going against. So first, we need to stop. We need to wait. And we need to watch out for the attacks. His fire attack and his ice attacks. You saw when we started, he started to use a ice attack. And he's still using it. It's like a tracking or homing weapon. And the next thing is to watch out for the fire attack. So he's going to fire it. It's like a volcano. You want to move out of the way of this because he is going to kill you. You can see I just about managed to survive. If my weapon will reload. Here we go. I had to melee him a few times. But I'm going to use those guys to get me back up. He's going to keep firing these big balls of lava at you. You want to dodge out of the way. This is going to be the best way to do it. Uh, the best thing that I've found is to stay pretty close to him. Don't go at the top. You will die. You want to stay here. And then when you want to get away from these balls of uh, volcano kind of fire, you want to run around to the top. These are going to be the only times to escape. You want to run around and this is where you're going to find ammo or any kind of ammo or one of the enemies so you can use them to heal off what you want to do is you want to keep concentrating on getting that shield down you can see that we almost got it down and obviously he's going to keep doing this big ball of lava fire you want to keep running around and every time you see one you want to jump over it and you want to make sure you don't run into these guys Try and get rid of them as fast as possible. I keep throwing grenades out at them. If you run out of grenades, try to keep getting that shield down and dodge these balls of flames. Because eventually you should be able to get one of the enemies to drop some more grenades. I was lucky they're on the floor. Uh, you just got to get it a run through where he just doesn't concentrate too much on you. The next tip is to go behind him and obviously attack his big kind of canister there at the top there that's kind of he's kind of like a bigger version of what you've been fighting so far as you can see he's going to alternate between the ice and the fire right now and what i'm going to do now is finish him off with my shotgun so once i've gone down to about half health after the shield i'm just going to lay it on him see i can got got a few more grenades here i'm going to just chuck those there gonna heal me right up I'm lucky cuz I got that heal off really fast but he's almost dead and we beat him there you go that's how you beat Captain Tron there's nothing to it so now at the end after you beat Captain Tron we get to raid his vault or the vault that is on this planet with the monks with the Maya so we can go in and collect our loot. Let's go ahead and do that. I learned to fight way before I met you. Let's spar then, kid. Oh, you know I would, but I've got a loot to sort through. Nope. Go pack a bag. You get your wish. We're leaving with the vault hunter. Wait, for real? I mean, yeah, cool. What else? It could be fun. I'll grab my stuff. Vault hunter, check this out. The Iridians left messages like these all over the galaxy. I always figured there was a connection between sirens and vaults. I can't read it, but it must mean something. When you're ready! This 
relic's been here since before I was born. But as long as Malawan knows it's here, Athenus will never be safe. I should tell you this before I explain it to Lilith. The real reason I took Ava on as an apprentice? She's going to be a siren. Someday. And I want to make sure she's ready when that happens. See you up in the stars, Vault Hunter. What's going on? As you can see, I got quite a few guns here. On the first try, I got this gun here that I've been using. is a kind of throwable one. You can shoot with it, and then you can throw it, and it will kind of be like a grenade, and it will just bounce around. But other than that, I did pretty well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.